Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. After deliberating for about 11 hours, a nearly all-white jury convicted three white men of murder in the death of Ahmaud Arbery. Now Quez, which, I, which you know him as Ahmaud, I know him as Quez. Yes. He will now rest in peace. Rest hey, man. Today, people in Georgia told ABC News it now feels a little safer to be black. I was jumping up and down, like, I was, I'm happy, I'm happy, finally we got justice. Still, activists stress the fight for racial justice is far from over. We'll have much more from the ABC 10 Race and Culture team at 11:14. Tonight, a search for answers is growing after 31-year-old Jessica Young was found shot dead in her car. She went to a gathering with her friends, Friendsgiving. That's the last time we all seen her. It happened last Saturday night at Kennedy Park in Southeast Stockton. A South Lake Tahoe inmate on the run tonight. 38 year old Ruben Zavala Garcia escaped last night while on supervised work. The CHP's maximum enforcement period is now underway for the Thanksgiving holiday. It will be all hands on deck to look for people driving under the influence. Thanksgiving travel expected to reach pre pandemic levels and drivers making the trip will be paying the highest gas prices in in seven years. Airports are also packed this holiday and Susan Jefferson of Stockton got to the Sacramento airport five hours early today to catch a flight to see her first grandchild. Oh my God, I thought I would never be alive to see my grandkids, but I'm thankful, yes. If you can, health officials recommend rapid testing for COVID-19 before gathering. Tests are available in pharmacies, but they can be hard to come by. The White House is expected to announce that workers who drive into the U.S. will now have to be fully vaccinated by January 22nd. And if you are following the Aaron Rodgers COVID toe saga, well, the NFL player now says his toe is fractured after referring to his injury as COVID toe. And it turns out that is a real condition. We verified it today. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.